Woodland mansions are one of the most mysterious yet intriguing structures in all of Minecraft. Home to axe-wielding vindicators and vex-spawning evokers, they're also one of the most dangerous. So would it be possible to survive 100 hardcore days trapped inside one? Oh, That's a good question. Let's find out. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, Bob, come pick me up. Guys, can you please die? There's another one. Okay, I need to pick up a torch. Need to get a torch down in here. Oh, I hear them. This guy's gonna get bonked. Just gonna grab some wood. There is that. And there is the pick. Okay. So we don't wanna go up there. No! We don't wanna go over there. He's just standing there menacingly. This is what I need. Because I need a way that we can guarantee cheese these guys, and it's just gonna be building up. This is terrible. This is actually terrible. I'm just gonna. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here's what we want probably, right? We want some cobblestone. Cobblestone before we deal with any of that. Make an axe. This will make a, a stone pick. That's what you do in Minecraft, right? This seems okay. Just gonna need a torch for this area. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. Oh my God, are you kidding me? String? The only useful thing right now is like bread and it is really useful. I just need to acquire myself a safe space. I need stone. Oh, we gotta try this way. <clears throat> Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what's up, nerd? Oh, you're gonna kill me? Well, yeah, you could, but I'm the cheese master, baby. <laughs> ha ha, you're dead. My adrenal cortex is firing. Means I'm scared. We get in, we get out. We're just looking for resources. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We got the resources for a furnace. We can burn these oak fences. While we wait on charcoal, we can start uh, working on this room a little more. There's the torches. So setting these oak fences is gonna be really useful because this way we can at least see what's on the outside. I am, however, gonna try to just get this area torched up. Just can't have anything spawning in our in our dedicated space. The question is what next? It's this way. I know it's this way. I'm, I'm scared. Make sure we block off this for now. Hey, we're getting strats. Look at this idiot with an ax. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, I'm the only idiot with an ax. Scary room. Lots of cobblestone, however. What we got in here? We got cauldrons, a skeleton, chicken. Basically, this is just the room of death. A little torch in there. Torch in there. Yeah. A little bit of flesh. We're hungry. Gotta do what we gotta do. Oh. Oh, bonk. Arrows. By the way, in this video, I'm going to be giving away $1,000 to one of my subscribers. To enter this giveaway, one, be subscribed, and two, watch all the way through the video to answer this question. How many times did I almost die? Chicken? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, we cleared the prison. We got a chicken. Nice. Hi, guys. You know, you look like some dudes that really want to kill me. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting right now. See, this is this is why we put this up. My man dropped some emeralds. Scary room. Haha. This is what we trade for. Boom, boom. Oh my God, there's so many. Okay, gonna eat some flesh. Heal up a bit. This has got to be done. Now, there's nothing in any of these, sadly, but it's another room cleared. Oh, but we got more to go. So we can get our chicken cooking up. And we've got a little bit of food. We can make a new axe and a new sword. We have, our, we have our safety zone set. And we continue on. Nice. Okay, another room with uh, not a whole lot in it. This is... Really unfortunate, but three arrows. I think that gives cause for us to make a bow. Last room on this end. Oh, it's another one of these. Oh my God, please. <gasps> Let's go. Golden apple, man. I'll take that too. Damn, that is big. Shout out to the last room on the right. So this means we could probably take like two hits from a vindicator now. Vex will still destroy us. <laughs> I think I should just finish torching up the area. And this section should now theoretically be safe. So, day three. This side can't be any harder than the last. <laughs> oh, yes it can. Yes it can. Yes it can, because there's our first skeleton. Yes! Oh, okay. Torch. Okay, here we go. 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 Nope. 
Yup, room clear. Another loot room. We have another chest plate and iron. Melon seeds. Let's go. Four pieces of iron. That is monumentally huge. Hi there. Want to take a peek at my arrow? Uh, we'll leave this for now. This is a scary room. Oh, there's an anvil and lava. Let's go. Oh, that's big. Okay, easy. Oh, 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 oh. Not so easy. Not so easy. Oh my god, they're so fast. Got another emerald. And ladies and gentlemen, we are done the first floor. Well, with this completed, let's grab some wool. And there you have it. One beautiful, beautiful bed. So this is probably the part where we should go upstairs. Now, technically, this isn't leaving the island. Just gonna grab some water. Oh, hi. Nice. Six arrows. Here we go. This floor will have vexes. <laughs> that looks like a room with evokers. Nice. Ah! I hate this. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh! Man, it'd be nice if they could drop something other than emeralds. Ooh. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Just grateful it was a creeper. So, getting dark. I think it's a really bad idea to explore through here at night because mobs are going to be spawning at higher rates. Way more danger if you ask me. We live to take this on another day. Also, there is an evoker. Scary room. I definitely see an evoker. You got to stay clear because Vex will wreck. Oh, also iron. So we need to kill this thing from range. Oh no, oh no. Okay, there, I think we got it. Just be careful, Vex will destroy us. There's so many of them. We just gotta slowly draw them out. Three arrows. Okay, there's one down. Another one's chasing me. Hi! That's not the worst thing, right? We're getting rid of all of them. I'm going in. There it is, there it is, there it is. We have a totem. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm, I can't run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. It is early for a hardcore run, but <laughs> we're still in rough shape. The only thing is that we still need to have a shield up because we're so weak. It's not even like I'm strong enough to just hold this in my hand like you would in a regular hardcore playthrough. I just need to run and plant a torch. Uh, oh, oh, shut up. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. I didn't see him. Vex are gonna follow me though. Maybe we're okay. I need to get a torch in here. Oh, I can't. Okay, okay, quick. Boom. Oh, chicken is actually good. We love chickens. Nice. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Here too. And we can return safely to our home. We're gonna regroup here. Maybe not traditional. I think our best play right now is an iron sword and a stone axe. Chicken, and we can continue to stock up on torches. But the true reveal is what's under here. Is anything under here? Did we get baited with the fake chest? I kind of think we did. Ah, oh, there it is. So the next few days pretty much just continued like this. I would kill a lot of monsters, run from evokers, clear rooms, and pick up the occasional totem of undying. Hey. Guess what? This floor has been cleared. Safe, secure, and I got two more totems of undying. Now for the really tricky part. The top floor is always the worst, and as you can see, that is holding true. We're not gonna go right there just yet. What we're gonna do is, is check this out. So behind these little faces is usually a hidden room. Oh my god! In here is one diamond block. The problem is that I actually would like this obsidian so that we could go to the nether, but I can't, I can't mine it to actually get it. That's big though. I think I'm still gonna go ahead and mine this. And so there is a diamond block that we cannot mine. <laughs> But if we can get more iron, we can mine this, then get a diamond pickaxe, then we can break this obsidian, and then we can actually go to the nether. Oh, hi. Oh, no, 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 no. I think we got it. Oh, I hear them, I hear them, I hear them. No. Oh my God, we're dead. Oh, they're dying, they're dying. Thing with Vex is they don't last very long. Yes. Oh! Okay, but I'm gonna heal. Man, that was scary. Also, loving this regeneration. Can't wait to tackle the rest of this. It's gonna be great. Oh, we did kill it though. 
Nice. I'm wondering if there's gonna be maybe a smarter way to tackle this. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this is actually way safer. Oh, there's a spawner. This is the room that we want. Thank you, actually. So this may look like an empty room. These things actually have hidden rooftops. Aha, uh -huh. oh my God. Oh, we are on the roof. <laughs> this is cool. <gasps> Oh, I saw it. Do not blow up this chest. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, the enchanted golden apple. More iron and bread. Not the best chest, but that's not bad. That is a spider spawner. Check this out. We make the pick. We break the diamond block. Oh. We acquire the diamond block and we got diamonds. Get the diamond pick. And now we can mine obsidian. Excellent. So I think I want to make another portal. Seems like a good place to make it. And let's check this out. Oh, oh, wow. But probably couldn't be a worse spawn, right? This will grab lava. And I certainly am another gold lover. I think the best play is probably to just tunnel this way and hope for the best. Yes, we have hit the waste. So I'm sure you're asking yourself, well, what are we doing here? Well, first and foremost, gold, because because gold is good. Secondly, gold has a very specific function. We can trade gold for iron. Oh, and a pair of boots. And there is a full set of armor. Why don't we deal with this bastion? You like that? You like that? How I, I knew it was there the whole time, but I didn't tell ya to make it more interesting. We're gonna take this on from the top. I need boots. Whoa, this is not safe. This is not up to code. Here's some gold. Can't even take down one of these things. Oh, that actually is exactly what I needed. I'm get a little snack going on here. Doing the old tunneling up the side trick. Okay. What do we have here? A couple carrots. What we, oh my God. Yes. Ants. Actually, so touch ya. Over here, we've got a scrap of ancient debris. A sharpness five axe. Low key, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good iron sword. I am quite content with our findings. Got everything I needed and more. But what kind of YouTuber would I be if I didn't go down there? We have, whoa, more iron and a golden apple. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys think I'm scared because you have axes? Listen, I've been dealing with this for longer than you've been spawned. Oh, I see a lot of gold. I also see a lot of magma cubes. Oh man, uh, no, not, not quite, not quite. We drop down, we just gotta build all around us. There we go. Oh, let's go. A diamond sword, diamond leggings. That is hot. Like I can at least get some of this. Wow, we are out of here. Oh no. Okay, getting a little too overconfident. This is what happens when you get a lot of totems to start a game pretty early. I am a very stupid, stupid boy, and I'm sorry. See, I only have two now. Can't afford to be a stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out of here, and we are feeling good. Got that hot upgrade. Feel alive. So we've actually been given some really crucial stuff. And if we could get a book, we could enchant it. And I'm pretty sure there's a bookshelf up here. Yeah. So we can grab some books. And we can use our silk touch axe to actually get bookshelves. And so there is the enchanting table. So we can break one of these adjacent rooms. Yeah. But we still can't enchant yet because we don't have lapis. Now, there is a very small chance it could be up here, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Oh, yes, the crossbow as well. Oh, that's a spooky room. Let's just boom. Give me those arrows, boy. Got the diamond sword now. Ooh, I hear a villager. Ooh. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, there it is. Woo! Okay, there's another one. Another? Uh, whoa! More torches in this stupid fake bed. I'll lay my own bed. Still not done. Uh, I'm kind of sensing a secret room, maybe 
in here. Maybe we'll uh, break out the side. Feels dangerous, but we'll fall into water. Oh, okay, it's another loot room. Whoa, dang it. All right, I'm just gonna drop down. On the bright side, our villager is still here. Some torches in here. Ooh, okay, so first room. Whoa. Oh. Also, nothing really useful in here. <laughs> I hear like 8 million mobs. Oh my god, I know where they are. They're in the roof. Yeah, it's gonna be up in here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fight amongst yourselves, please. Still not invincible. But I need arrows. We have. Sick, yeah, wow. There's like four, yeah. I mean, I guess. And we, oh, <laughs> a diamond hoe. Amazing. <laughs> wow, that's uh, disappointing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, top floor has been cleared. 15 days. Oh, yeah. He's just gonna hit me. All right, I'm gonna break this, grab the boat. Come with me, buddy. Now. It's a little bit of a safer place, don't you think? Well, I think we know what the next logical step is. Now, before we go, a little piercing four on this bad boy, and we're back. And so now it's adventure time. Well, we have come to more waste. We need this, because we're actually out of food. Hey, guess what? Well, well, well. So it took us long enough to get here. We're gonna explore everything. This isn't just a single blaze rod trip. <laughs> Here's our nether wart. We got chests. We got gold. We got a diamond. And another iron nether wart. Oh, hi there. Fire does hurt me. Fire does, does hurt. Okay. Wow, this is a huge fortress. More gold, more diamonds. Hey there. Thought I was ready to roll. Oh my God, dude. This is one of the biggest fortresses I've ever been in. Our first blaze rod. And so all this time searching, it turns out hidden behind this tree is what we're looking for. <laughs> oh wow, getting beat up. All right, I think 10 should be enough. And now we just need to take the giant trek home. And we're back. So now we have a brewing stand. We just need sugar. So the guidelines, Oh, what the? Whoa, 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 what? What? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I'm trying to do a monologue, bro. Oh, whoo. As I was saying, the challenge is that we're not allowed to leave our woodland mansion. How I define that is that I can't go over there, get those trees, get that sugar cane, sand, whatever, etc. But to me, this is like connected to the woodland mansion. So like this dirt piece of dirt, for example. Yeah, that, 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 like I, I'm okay with that. There is a small island connected. No sugar cane here. Oh, oh, that is rude. I still think there is a way we can get this. Here is my grand experiment. We could just just always get a witch to spawn and get sugar that way, but that's kind of boring. Yeah, this is where we have sand. That is connected. So we get TNT. Here's the plan. We build up and over. We're gonna need this drown to come over. Next, we drop this TNT. Sugar cane is down, uh, but he's dead. Okay, that's fine. Now we just need to wait for a zombie to spot us. We don't want it to pick up that dirt. Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, it doesn't pick it up. Oh, but there's another drowned? Come on, buddy, right over here. What, no! <laughs> we have another one. Just gotta wait for one. It can pick stuff up. Oh, you're kidding me. You're actually kidding me right now. Oh, oh, it's got it though. It's got it. No, 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 no. Uh, apple, apple, apple. Okay, I can kill him now. Oh, I'm gonna drown. Oh my God. Oh! Gosh, dang it. Okay, totem, 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 totem. Yes! <laughs> ha! That was so stupid. Like, the amount of struggle just for some dumb, arbitrary rule that I decided to insert into this game. But I followed my rules. Everything went okay. I did not acquire anything outside of my area. There's the sugar cane. Oh, but now we don't have apples. <laughs> but... 
I know an easy way that we can get some. So put that there. Get a ton of bone meal. Might need a little more height. So, yeah! <laughs> we got a use for the hoe. Apple. No apple. I know one thing that'll definitely do it. Apple. There is our oak tree. Getting some bad luck here. Maybe what I'll do for this one is just leave it. Another one right here. Hey! Of course it happens so that I don't get footage of it, but nice! Golden apple, fermented spider eye. Just gonna yeet some sand. There's our potions. And there's villager one. Thank you so much for playing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have beat the game. But once you beat the game, you realize you're really just getting started. There it is. Welcome to the world, buddy. This mansion is ours. The reconstruction begins now. I'm actually gonna start with a cleric. We can buy redstone dust to level him up. And now that'll give us access to lapis. We can also sell off some gold to get some more emeralds. And that'll give us more lapis. Next, we can grab our diamonds, plus our other chest plate. Now we've got nine diamonds. I'm gonna make a helmet and boots. And it seems like the best bang for our buck is actually gonna be protection three. We can grab that and get on breaking. This set, we're also looking at protection. Smite four. I think protection is probably their best bet again. And nice. So that's gonna be one overall very solid upgrade. So now I'm only gonna die of hunger. No, like for real, your boy's not doing very well. I'm actually gonna make a fishing rod. This currently seems like the best way to get food. See, I could have got a farmer, but at this point, I know I'd rather be safe. I might actually take a bit more gold, run some more sails, and now we need one more level. We just need one quick session in the nether. There's the 30. Now we can scoop up lure two, and while I'm quite inexperienced with fishing, just gotta hope. Haha, <laughs> great. Just gotta hope for some good stuff. However, I am still not above eating these guys. Oh no! All right, let's try this again today. Hey, look at that, we're not gonna die. And another piece of copper. Oh, this is priorities. So, one of my biggest fears is that our woodland mansion catches fire and it all goes away. We're going to add a few pieces of cobble and a lightning rod. And this should guarantee that our mansion does not catch fire. Anyway, let's get fishing. Whoa, you know, I really would like a trident. Might you give me a trident? Sad. Anyway, that's 21 fish. We can get that cooking up. And now that I'm not gonna fall over, I actually like want to work on, on like the, 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 the house. I know, crazy. So just to finish out some leveling, just buy bottles of enchanting. We'll take a peek. Ooh, ooh. Oh, the ax would be so nice, but I don't have diamond. It's what I need right now. Let's go for it. And we got the unbreaking, let's go. Can always heal it as well. But for now, I, I gotta start thinking, what is the optimal way to turn this into our base? So I think first floor, definitely wants to be like utility main sort of stuff. And I really want to open it up. So I'm actually going to go ahead. What's behind here? I don't even know. Ah, it's jail. Okay. Well, I don't need multiple jails. Uh, my pick is almost dead. And now let's see. Efficiency three. Yeah. Fortune actually. Shoot. That's not really what we wanted. We're just going to have to take efficiency two. With silk touch, what is going on? Whatever. It's fine. I'm not sure if it's going to make sense to just tear apart the entire thing. I'm gonna break this section though. More space. <laughs> so something like that. Oh, and that is why we have the lightning rod. So stairs. Okay, that feels better. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of this whole section too. I'll leave what's left of this pick in case we need silk touch. Let's see, efficiency two, sure. All right, I like this. So I think this is gonna be storage. Now I'm gonna let some of this cobblestone cook up and turn it into smooth stone. And we're gonna place chests down like so. And with the amount of leather that we have, start labeling these. As for my plan with the smooth stone, that's gonna look a little more put together. Now we can start labeling these. 
Now we just gotta move all this. There, that looks nice. So now that we've got a sort of focal point, it's gonna be a lot easier to start building the rest of this floor. So first of all, I actually wanna see what's on the other side of this. And I think it's just hallway and more jail. Well, honestly, I would like this to be a walkway. We definitely don't need more than one prison. This one will keep, but this one could probably go. I think if we're gonna tackle it, however, I'm gonna need better gear. So we need to get another villager. And seeing as I have no diamonds, we need to force spawn another zombie villager. So this area is still producing mobs. I don't think we want to make one of these top floors into like a, a, a temporary spawner. And so ironically, these jail cells are actually going to make a great temporary spawner. For now, we'll leave that be and hope for the best. And we can basically do the same thing in this room. So that gives us another possibility. And then we can basically just make this whole back area dark. And we'll just periodically check this until we get a zombie villager. In the meantime, I'm going to keep working on the rest of the house. I feel like we just run such a huge risk of making everything like way too far from each other. So I kind of think this might work better here. So that looks good. I think this is going to become a furnace room. Feels fitting to keep this the bedroom. Just acquire some more wool. And still nothing for the zombie villager. And nothing on the roof. So for my next act, I need more iron. These guys will give me stuff. <laughs> Well, that was not the best. That didn't really accomplish much, but it's nighttime. I think of all places, we should probably be checking the roof. That's a dangerous mob right there. Good thing I'm a dangerous mob too. We got nothing in there. Well, that sucked. And now I need more fish. Oh my God. So I think this could also be a grindstone and anvil room. Makes the most sense to just have it all together. I've never actually had like a cool brewing room before. So I've gone ahead and decided to really just keep this quite closed off here. So I think this makes like a nice starting point. It's cobble underneath. I'm actually gonna grab more books from up here. So I'm almost thinking this can be like kind of an experimental looking shelf side. Maybe like a little soul sand. Maybe that there, yeah. There, something like that. Some bookshelves, but still feels bare. Cauldrons do add a bit of a vibe. Oh, hi there. Take a pumpkin and some dye, I guess. Yeah, this looks all right. I know you guys don't watch me for like my insane designs, but I I'm trying to, you know, improve at least. Also, if you are enjoying, please subscribe. But I still feel like we need more books. Yeah, that looks okay. But means we probably gotta fix this side up now. So I've got some ideas to change this side. I like that a lot more. So maybe that there. Sounds like still nothing, still nothing. We'll grab this anvil. That feels like the most practical. The book up there. Ooh, I like that. And lastly, I think a piece of glowstone kind of livens that corner up a little bit. Maybe liven up all the corners. You could also try adding trim to the ceiling. The annoying thing about liking it is now I'm gonna want to do it in every room. Before we could do any real big construction projects, we need that like diamond efficiency setup. And I'm starting to think the play is to just let this place become a little more dark. Cause if a zombie villager spawns above me, like I'm gonna hear it. So we'll just make a few pockets. I'm definitely going to acknowledge the irony in doing this. We've spent so long to make it safe, but villagers are a huge point of progression for this. Look at that, I already got guys spawning. Actually, sun's going down. The best odds of getting spawns in here will be in the day. First try, nothing. It's gonna be a lot of nothing, mostly danger. So with or without good tools, I really gotta get a start on this. And that's okay, you know, it's just gonna take a little longer, but we will get what we need eventually. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Honestly, I, I don't think I have a purpose for this yet. The most logical thing to do right now is gonna be villager hall. Kinda like it over here. Oh, but it would make so much more sense to put it in this hallway. Yeah. Well, 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 if it isn't patience, finally catching up with me. No, yes, oh, thank you. Come on, buddy, let's get you your very own room. There you go, dude, you know, oh, no, 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 none of that, none of that, none of that. I'll honestly take this. I guess I don't really have sugar, so let's grab this one. Make a name tag. My girlfriend wanted me to name something after in this playthrough. Not sure if this is safe for now. 
Olivia can come in here. <laughs> this is really all the villager area we need. I will sacrifice my beds to the cause. Cornelius, dude man. <laughs> Look at that, right to bed. Now we can sell some gold. And yeah, I guess we gotta sell iron. It's our last two. Oh, that'll do it. Literally haven't even bought a shovel yet. Now we also gotta figure out how we can give them food to make more villagers. So the only seed we have right now that's gonna work are beetroots. So we're gonna call this dirt free game. Perhaps this is the beginning of a farm room. So there we go. Ooh, this is gonna be costly. And with a little help of some skeletons, there's 24. So that was not really easy, but it won't ever have to be that hard again. We give this guy 12, this guy 12, and then they'll make a farmer for us. And hello, our beautiful farmer with beautiful bread. Here we go. And we do fortunately have a lot of wool for beds. And there we have another baby. Back to our toolsmith. We're one piece of iron away. One more day. What I can do is grab a door, plant this here, and with my shovel, my fortune shovel, I suppose we could also get this from piglins, but whatever. We can acquire flint. Boom. Okay, well, a shovel, but we're moving in the right direction. So I somehow managed to find another villager, but he just really doesn't want it. Like, tell me why you deserve to live when you can't even climb a one block high piece of sand. Oh. Nice try, thanks for playing. We now have access to iron in the overworld. We can finish clearing out this room and we now have diamond picks for one, not bad. Ooh, and if I grind these down, there it is. That'll be one efficiency for unbreaking three pick. Let's go. Oh, hey, we have a guy. So I'm thinking we should turn this guy into a weaponsmith. I don't really have the resources right now, but even being able to purchase iron axes, that's that's useful. Over half the deconstruction is actually with an ax. That was what I was hoping to get the most. So if we want to keep these guys getting leveled up, I think we're going to need to make an iron farm. This is going to take a bit. So first and foremost, we are going to need iron. Quartz as well for redstone stuff. Wow, we did not get near enough iron. So that'll be one plus two and three hoppers. Five is optimal, but we can make it work. Composters, three beds, wood stuff. Sorry, buddy. Some redstone stuff. Okay, the last thing we need, there's two more buckets. Our man here just needs to drop four. Yes, that'll be everything. Given that our village is here in, in this set of chunk, the further we go from here, probably the better it's gonna work. So we're gonna head upstairs. Actually, this room would work really well because it's tall. Since it's night, it's probably easier to move our villagers now. Come on in, lads. Now that we've got the redstone laid, we can go ahead and get our villagers up here. Okay, now I just need to lay down some glass before these guys wake up. There we go. Chest goes here, hoppers go here, 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 and two more should go there. So now we just need a zombie. No. <laughs> okay, well, not really what I had in mind. Okay, let's try this again. Come right over here. Just come on up these stairs right here. There we go. Easy. Iron Golem is a little broken. All right, Brian, this one's for you, man. And now we add the walls. So in my past videos, you'd know that at this point, we add lava to the mix. But um, that will burn this entire structure to the ground. So we kind of need to chop all the wood in the immediate vicinity. Otherwise, this is a game over and I'm gonna have to restart. Probably still gonna set some stuff on fire. I think we'll just take down this entire wall. That's better, but still not enough. Better yet, hey. Call that two more hoppers. I still don't feel good about this. Well, I don't know if I can deal with this. Cause like, I think this piece of lava is good, but my problem is if like it spreads to say, ow. Like let's say that spreads to here and then that fire spreads to there. Game over. I can sell my last piece of iron to this guy and then turn that into an ax. All right, our world is not broken yet. It, it could be possible that the signs just keep it contained and it never spreads, but I'm not taking that risk. Next part is water. And now we got to put down a metric butt ton of slabs. We'll add some up here. Fortunately, carpet also prevents mobs from spawning. Lastly, we just add the torch. It works. And there's iron. A little snack for a good day's work. Or like, you know, four days. So now we can take our iron and turn it into axes. This guy levels up. We got dudes spawning in here. 
think we're gonna need more slabs. You know, it's kind of funny, because, like, I think this almost looks better in some ways. It is working, though. Anyway, we'll leave it for the night. Go back to our dudes. Iron for emeralds. Emeralds for bread. And now, on night 42, I can say with confidence that we will not be dying of hunger. It's a big day. Oh my god, I just had a thought. <gasps> yup. Can't believe you do me like that. Makes sense, though. I think that should fix it. I think we've got it working. Oh, yes! All right, five spawns in a row. The pain and suffering factory is officially open for business. This time, I'm gonna sell off my iron. That'll be the level up. And there is our axe. And if we just sell three of these, there is the diamond axe. It's been a grind, but it's worth it. Now let's check out some enchanting. Now we've got enough for two enchantments. Efficiency, fire protection, protection four. Ooh. Protection four is actually really hard to get off the top. I gotta take that. I guess I'll just take protection three. At least now we're pretty freaking safe. And now we got that shine. Oh no, how did you do that? So with a little more slabbing, I think I think we've managed to crack the code. This whole area is slabbed, as is this, and then I did carpet in this room here. So it should be working. And with this iron, the level up will bring us a looting one Bane of Arthropod sword. Ugh. I mean, is it better than this sword? Yes. Am I gonna take it? Yes, but, but like still. Uh, I'm gonna just head back to the nether real quick. I'm here for quartz. There's gotta be some more chests in here. So we have, I mean, I always like arrows and bone blocks make my life easier. And over here, very bad items. Well, we got a gold block. Make that two, three, four. So now there's our efficiency three ax, but we should start working towards a better sword. Sadly, that is not in the cards for us yet. Oh, but the efficiency for shovel. Someday, someday. Anyway, let's switch gears. I need cobblestone. And beneath all woodland mansions is a ton of cobble. This cobble generation is 100% part of the woodland mansion, so it keeps us within our parameters. That's one hallway and four stacks. Plus we can get some stone bricks and we're gonna finally start working on the aesthetic of this building. Cause if we're gonna live here, it had better look nice. So first and foremost, I think we should try to make this front porch look nicer. So we'll get a little perimeter. We'll add some pillars. We'll get a little roof action on the go. I think that looks a lot better. Not sure if I'm done with this, but we've got a lot more to do. A little bit of trim work here and I think that feels pretty good. I want to tackle this staircase. I have been collecting quartz for this exact reason. I think a quartz staircase would be sick. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so like even just getting the basis for this, dang. The red carpet, that looks pretty sick. So we can even do some stuff on the sides here. Although I feel like that's starting to get a little too bland. Like it's all the same color. Like I don't know if quartz block is the answer, you know, like not really. Not really at all. I think we're gonna have to go to the nether to finish this. I am not ready for another room, so this will do. Conveniently enough, the first thing we're actually wanting is blackstone. I'd say four stacks should be more than enough. Quartz, however, is a bit more difficult. We've got a lot of options for blackstone. Polished is kind of always the pick, though. The thought is something like that. How about that? I think this is the look. I think I like that design quite a bit. Obviously, we've still got a lot to fix, but this part is really just as easy as replacing everything. Okay, that is better yet, and done. I think this looks really cool. The only other thing I might change here is this birch fence. I think I like that. Overall, it is a much better vibe. So the one thing that could change the vibe of this place quite a bit, there's one guy who can get us what we need. It's a librarian. So with librarians, it's actually two level ups to get lanterns. We've got them breaking, and fortunately we got looting on the other one, but we're sadly not quite there. Now in the meantime, we could upgrade our helmet. There goes our anvil. That should be no worries. There's there's the unbreaking three. And I think I might reset this sword. So sun is going down. Just gonna start a small little tree operation up here. A day later, we've got some restocked villagers. We can level this guy up. Finally, there's our level up. No lanterns. 
That did not go how I had hoped. Iron nuggets and torches make lanterns. Lanterns can go up top. And I'd also like to hang them from up front here. Oh, the double up looks good. So with the remodeling process started, I think we can once again shift gears. The first improvement we can make is actually with our iron farm. Running up here every time I need iron is very inconvenient. So I'm gonna try something I've never done before. I'm actually gonna make a rail system that carries the iron down to our inventory. Let's try pushing this. Will it come back? Oh, no, it won't. So I think we're gonna have it come down into this room. Oh, it is coming back. Okay, so I've actually added a chest to the hopper system. Okay, let's see. We have two iron. It's definitely gonna work, just not like, crazy. We can make another hopper, so now it'll do four per trip. And regardless of how fast it fills up, it is way faster than running all the way up here. It does, however, look really bad. So next day, and it's nice to see this is working. So next up on our list, I'm gonna make a smoker, because although bread is nice, butchers are much better. Are you ready for this? These guys sell eight cooked chicken for one emerald. Chicken heals more hunger, more saturation, and it's cheaper. So you guys can can take the bread because now we're on that paleo diet so question what if we replaced all of the cobble with stone brick it, it's a lot but i'm kind of starting to think it would look really cool i was just messing around i thought this was kind of a neat design and from far away i think it looks pretty legit okay and so if we do that again you can actually see like we found a consistency now currently we have 64 stone bricks, plus a bit more from the last project. I don't know, this might be too ambitious. All right, so that's half. If I build myself out here, we can see, I don't know, I like it. I also think keeping a bit of this cobble just adds some nice texture. Now, to just get everything we dropped here, we've got more stone cooked up, and now we can start this side. Bro, this guy is literally painting the side of my building. Anyway, that is the second side. Well, I guess the second half to make one side of one floor. Overall though, I do think it is a big improvement. But before we do the other sides, I, I think I wanna fix these corners. So it's blocks on each side and a wall. Would that just be the simple play? So it could be that? Oh man, that looks a lot better. <laughs> just a small little project we got going on here. No no big deal. Definitely not way in over my head for a hundred days, but oh man, that does look cool. And then we can fill these edges in with stairs. I think that is some improved trim for sure. The bright side, that gave us a whole lot more cobble. Now to do this side, it's going to be a whole lot easier if we just break it from the top and get more stone cooking. And so, ladies and gentlemen, there is our other side. As for trim, we're like really almost done. So I think this next top layer can be a pretty simple fix. So now it gets a little weird. So it's not just an easy fill in. We kind of got to deal with this roof. But at the same time, the design is a lot more simple. And then five upside down stairs on the bottom. So yeah, I like this a lot. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this side is done. This was very satisfying, but also very time consuming. So with that, I'm not really sure if I'm ready to take on the other three sides. At this point, though, we know the structure, we have a great system, so it shouldn't be too bad to finish the rest. I just don't want either of us to get bored. On the bright side, we have another lightning rod, so to in really sure safety. I've also not checked this in a while, and wow, I think that's a good amount of iron. We haven't been very focused on villagers. I also think it's time we shift gears on our wood accumulation. So first, I'm going to see if these grow here. Let's go. Only thing that's awkward with this is that is not going to break down. Fair though, it does look... Oh, it is going to break down. It's going to be at least a little weird. But I actually want to open this up a bit. Okay, so now we have a nice open rooftop. So there we go. It's open, but it's taken care of. It looks good. It feels nice. A little more bone meal. Oh, hey. Now, will it break? I think it will. So I've actually got an interesting idea as it pertains to trees. We just need a few levels and there is a silk touch hoe. Hey, I get it. You're thinking Patrick, who needs a silk touch hoe? Seeing as I'm the only person in this world, it is in fact me. Dark oak leaves. I've got a little plan to add some shrubbery. I think it will stay. And I just really hope that this will be the perfect final touch. Ooh, I like it. 
It really adds some needed color to the place. Now tonight, I'm just gonna grind for some materials and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's time we start working on the rest of our floors. So this was always a temporary placement. For our nether portal room, I want it to just look like the nether. So first we gotta break all these, but it's actually good because this is a pretty nice resource. I mean, it's the only way we can get polished andesite for this playthrough, so pretty useful. So I'm basically going to fill the walkway in with obsidian. So the portal will be like this, but what you see behind it is gonna be a room that looks like nether. So I've run out of materials, but we do have a little bit left. Fortunately, we can pop on through to get a bit more. And then as you see, we leave the nether and it still looks like nether, kind of. <laughs> there, I think that looks good. So it keeps the theme that it's a room like anything else in a mansion, but it almost makes it feel like it's a direct portal. Now prison can stay. I don't really like this storage room, however. It's always just so disappointing with, with nothing in it. That's a room. So rather than it being nothing, well, that was actually unsymmetrical. Instead, we will do it like this. Three single chests, a monument to the real ones. Now this could see some improvement. So I'm like fine with that for beetroots. Beetroots are pretty bad. So this won't be a crazy start. We can share this pumpkin and that will at least give us two crops. That's actually all we have. We can do some beetroots just for aesthetics. And then to make this look even cooler, we can go ahead and add some little heat lamps. I know they're a little chandelier-y, but I like it. Man, I feel like this could be a proper jail. So let's say we just kill some of the lights up here. To be honest, I really don't know how illager spawns work in these mansions, but I think it would be really cool to trap one. So we can yeet up a name tag. Oops, that was supposed to be for a vindicator. Anyway, there we go. Do illagers even spawn after an area has been cleared? Individual evokers spawn during the generation of particular wooden mansions. They do not respawn. Hey there, buddy. How would you like to be Poophead the second? Come along with me. Just a little further, buddy. And so, yeah, I am 26 years old. Looks good to me. So that makes from here all the way down to there good. We still have prison, this room, our villager hall, another storage room, and this stuff. It's a very big space. So the next thing I really need to do is just start breaking stuff. Don't know what I want, but I hope if I clear walls, I will eventually figure out an idea. Yeah, still nothing. That's okay. I'm down for some villager stuff. So we need a little expansion here. Now we really just go for the old classic with slabs on top. So that part's easy enough. Really, we can just we can just all get out. Am I really that dumb? I'm not sure why it's any different from our last build, but for now, I screwed up. And it's not the worst fix in the world. So with that, I think we are good. The best part of this is our villagers won't escape, so we can actually have open walkways. So overall, I gotta say that I really think our main floor has come a very long way. Top floor, on the other hand, really is quite pathetic. I think the first way that we can make it better is if we actually extend this staircase to go to the top floor. This third floor staircase is just really awkward. It's so out of the way on the other side, so we can do better. So I think we just continue straight on up from here. Oh, and look at that, right into a spawner. I mean, this is something I've been meaning to deal with for quite some time. Okay, uh, did the spawner just break? I, th I think it did. You know, that's actually really tragic. Actually could have been a really nice XP farm. It's not critical, but sad to see either way. This is, however, still pretty awkward. That is really gonna be barely enough quartz. Wow, that is a big staircase. So we have this epic staircase and like it just kind of goes into a nothing sort of room. So I think I'm just gonna tear like all of this down. It's just a lot of wall that needs to go. Right, so that is certainly better. <laughs> this wall is gonna need to go too. Uh, I would say this is better still. Anyway, I think that's a good start. We can add blackstone to the sides and then we add the wall around it. There, ladies and gentlemen we have our staircase. 
So I really like this, but it, it's a little clunky, a little like not great visually. Uh, I think it would make more sense to have stairs going here. I like the look of that a lot. I don't know how, but <laughs> there's like eight golems over here. It doesn't even make sense, but I think our iron farm broke. I'm gonna guess that it had everything to do with this. Now, in other news, we can get blocks of quartz for free. Pillars as well. I've been putting this off for way too long. But now our pillars can go to the ceiling. Overall, looks way better. This is working again, which means more levels. Silk touch shovel. Yeah, okay. You can also chuck some unbreaking onto that. So tools are actually pretty solid. Now, I really want this video to be less about villagers and more just creating something cool. But near perfect tools are gonna help a lot with that process. So. I gotta do something here. That was pretty quick. Gonna lock that in. We do have reserve emeralds. One, two, mending. Absolutely has to go on the pickaxe. And for now, the axe as well. Now, with our villagers refreshed, more emeralds, more mending, and there's all our tools. I'm not gonna bother with the sword just yet, but this guy is looking pretty sad. Can also sell stuff to level up and buy bricks. We've got quite a bit of stone now, which is my way of saying that I'm ready to continue the exterior modeling. Probably time I torch this top area up. So that covers windows and there's the top and side. But now this is a big side. Bottom floor is easy. It's gonna take a lot to fill in, however. There we go. Now I'm going to actually use my staircase for once. Next section is simply mining straight down. And then we clear this section. Everything is blocks up top. And we're keeping it simple with three stairs between each one. Done. And now all we have left is the really hard annoying part. So we've got a really great system going on here for stone. And we've still got a hundred more blocks to go with this lava. Now we begin the hard part. So I think it actually might make most sense to do it like we did the top one with these sort of uh, temporary blocks. So middle section is pretty straightforward. Only part that's tricky is stair slab uh, stair. But then this bottom part is rough. Actually, I may have done this wrong. The under part is the most complicated. You've got upside down stair underneath the two logs and then a single slab underneath the main brick. So I think we'll worry about this last. We can just go one, two, three, four, five, stair, slab, stair, and that's basically it. Next, we'll add this top piece. Slab, stair, brick, stair, slab. Slab, stair, brick, stair, slab. Oh, and then the most critical part, three shrubs across. Yeah, this is much easier than doing one entire section at a time. See, this is when things get tricky. Dude, I've got so much to do, I don't have time to sleep. Oh my god. Okay, closest I've been to dying in a sec. Dude, I would argue that drowned tridents are one of the most dangerous mobs in the game. Okay, new day, a new chance. And once again, stare, slap, stare. A simple, easy formula, and it looks great. That is a big side completely done. Also, I've decided we're gonna delete this island. <laughs> It obstructs the view of the side of my house. I don't think it should be impossible to fix this. It's just gonna take a lot of water. That's not perfect, but it's good enough for me right now. Quick trip to the nether. Wow, it's been a minute. Anyway, we'll keep this production system going. We have acquired quite a bit of stone. Maybe we'll do this side next. This side though, won't take more than a second. And done. I think overall, the structure is really coming along. For my own sanity's sake, I think I'd like us to shift gears again. I kind of want to make this second layer a little more open concept. We're going to take down this wall. This wall. This wall. And I think I'm going to have a go at this as well. I would say that feels better still. It seems the more I open this up, the better it feels. So we can take a chunk out of here as well. Looking nice. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm just gonna start breaking stuff. Yeah, I guess I'll just break all of this. 
Honestly, this makes for a pretty sick balcony. Put down a flower pot. Back to this main section. I think that I like this side room, but I almost want this balcony to extend further this way. So we'll take this across, fill this in. There. I think that looks a lot better. Can add a little window like that. And I think we got a pretty solid balcony. This can go farewell. I think also while we're tackling this, we still have this like random staircase back here. So this wall. So I like how that opens it up. Uh, I just kind of hate the staircase. I don't think I'm gonna have enough quartz for another staircase. Maybe we will keep the cobble vibe. I mean, that even looks better than what it was before. That to me is a bit of a glaring issue. I honestly don't think this will take that much to change. So first of all, Steve's eyes, they are blue. Steve's head is also quite a bit more boxy. So even as soon as I place this, I'm realizing we wanna shift this over. Steve's eyes are gonna be like this. That looks really creepy. While I would absolutely love to make this with wool, we don't have any cocoa beans, but we do have wood. That is a horrifying image. <laughs> Just trust me on this. It's coming along. Oh, I think it's better if I raise it up like that. Lastly, we could just fill in the smile. Hey, fill it in with cyan. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. If you've got the time to do this, I think you've conquered the mansion. It is a little terrifying. No, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Now with that, it seems as though we found our way to the top floor. And I, for one, have some things I wanna change. Like uh, this whole wall. Yeah, this wall right here. It's gone, never existed. Don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about no fancy secret hidden cavities either. Looks good to me. We're gonna check out outside, okay? We're gonna see, maybe we can make some improvements to this rooftop. Like a nice cute little staircase going out. Maybe get laying some dirt and grass. We can actually like layer it. And I think once that grows, it'll look really cool. Now I gotta admit, I, I kinda like having a tree in the house. What if we just planted another tree on top walls kind of gives it a nice view and there we go I'm really hoping that adds a nice bit of trim around the top all this trim work has got me thinking we should probably do something for the top as well my stone levels are getting low though so I think we'll go with brick slabs I guess we'll just do it like this yeah I think that'll finish out the trim quite nicely these are disgusting like these are really bad I think we could make something a little bit nicer. That, yeah, much better. And I think overall, this finishes off the trim quite nicely. While we're up here, perhaps we could get a little fountain on the go. I think maybe that's a little bit better. And we can actually put the water coming from out of there. So it looks like a real fountain. So the few more changes, I think this looks a lot better. Also, a uh, spontaneous efficiency five. That was, uh, that was from this dude. Might even go ahead and uh, let's see, 17. Ooh, I always buy a bottle of enchanting, but yeah. <laughs> we'll get back to this. In the meantime, I'm not officially committing to finishing this, but I think it's time we at least start, you know, a little start on things. Ah, who am I kidding? Let's finish this trim. I think you know how this goes by this point. First, we tear away all the bad stuff. And then I struggle how to remember to put things in. It's really not that complicated. Although I am definitely getting way better at this. That's it. I do not need to do this at night. So we will stock up on things. We will attack this next part from the top this section is genuinely a little weird so it's actually just the same thing as that but without the annoying under part at that not even one day so this is the one section that differs it's actually quite inconvenient and complicated so we once again build this out I think it's a lot easier if we just break everything from here so first part is the middle three section of logs that's got three stone bricks this drowned gets three arrows 
Ugh. Well, this is not good. Please no drowned. Wow. You start playing risky when you got that totem. Now, I did this right, but in the wrong layer. Basically, we just fill in the gaps with stairs. Yeah, actually, that looks good. I'm actually just going to need to add a slab because as you can see, we got golem spawning. Actually, probably it makes it look better anyway. So for this side, we now just have one row left. This is one we have done before, and it shouldn't really be a problem. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Literally just stone on top. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. One very nice looking side. Just need to fill this in. And as I recall, yeah, this roof is not quite done. And it's still not. Use small scale repairs. Beautiful. Now I'm actually in need of some torches. And we're gonna symmetrically torch this up. Hoping that just gives a bit more symmetry to the place. Now, we definitely could add torches to the top, but I have one problem with this. Once you start torching everything, it starts to feel more like a deck than an actual roof. What if we just slab this entire area? Then you have no mob spawning on top and it might look cool. Wow. This is gonna take a lot. Let's get like a lot of buckets, which means like a lot of lava. Oh, I mean like a lot of lava. Three in each. We've got not very much cobblestone. What about this stuff? Oh, you can make slabs. What if we make a second inside layer? I mean, this instantly saves us like a stack and a half of blocks. Plus like it, it adds a little bit of texture. As for now, we have just over three stacks of stone brick slabs. Okay, wow. I guess it's to the cobblestone mines for me. So that's a stack for each furnace. You can actually get all four of them burning now. And while I fear this might be a little too late, the efficiency five diamond axe. And we'll get back to the mining. That'll give us six more stacks. And let's see what kind of a dent we can make today. Getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. The next day. And this is what I would call getting there. Now, oh, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready to finish it out? I think we might have more than enough, actually. Surface area, it's just one of those things you always underestimate. With our last stack. No, <laughs> I don't wanna go back down. Uh, haha, maybe, maybe I left blocks in here? Yes, I did. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our final block. There it is. Man, that was a project. Feels good to be done, and I do think it looks pretty sick. What's next? There's one thing I've been holding off on. We need glass, a metric butt ton of obsidian. And because I don't have a diamond block, I will do one emerald block. I need a room that is nine wide. Hello. All right, I'm so sorry, books, but this is for the video. Sorry to all the readers out there. In this Woodland Mansion, we didn't get one, but I'm sure a lot a lot of you are familiar with the iconic, the incredibly rare lava room. And if you're not, well, we're gonna build one. Okay, so 15 by 15 room there and seven long. One second. Right, so now we just, uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, this is gonna take more time than I thought. So it's a five by five area of glass. Yeah, the emerald goes on top of that. Next we need lava and a whole lot more obsidian. So we are here for lava. That is a very full pocket. Easiest way to do this, just place all of it. Fill our inventory up, place it again. It's a very tedious yet simple solution. Next, as I'm sure you can predict, we break it and we're gonna have to go back. One more round. Whoa, rare mob. Oh my God, that's so rare. I need a name tag. What are you doing, buddy? There you go. Haha, <laughs> chickens are so slow. Yo, here we go. See, I told you, we were keeping this jail for a reason. Okay, not for nothing. Rare mob. So iron, because I think I need to name the chicken too. I don't know. Either way, super rare mob. We still have <laughs> my girlfriend, Olivia. Well, we'll get back to this. One more round of lava. We can go. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I feel like all source blocks is gonna be like, it's, that, that's how it's, it's actually created, right? Right, so there's our first level. Oh God. Now, this should be good. Haha. -ha. 
Beautiful. It definitely has movements. But you know what? Hey, we both know that we put the effort in for this, and it's better because of it. Oh, wait a second. Uh, this is wrong. It turns out, uh, I am the world's biggest dingus, and I did this wrong. Goodbye, Emerald. We'll just have to scoop this all up, but it's okay. It's not wasted, right? Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is lava on a woodland mansion. Oh, I'm stupid. It's actually glass on the bottom. See, I know, right? Like this wasn't in the instruction manuals. How am I supposed to know? It was, it's, it's, it's entirely my fault. Okay, like do I have any cool blocks? No, not really. Oh, I have ancient debris. That's it. Boom. Ooh, that's actually like more fitting if we're being honest. Next, it's another layer of glass. And then it's one more layer of glass. Obsidian on top, fill in the edge. Edges, and boom! So if you're exploring a woodland mansion and you happen to get really lucky, you would come across literally this structure. Like, I, I don't know about you guys, but I just think this is so insane that this could actually generate. So this looks good. I think we've just got like this section to fix. Oh, and then the leaves, right? We're pretty much there. So we've got another jail cell, actually two for that matter. I would like to capture a creeper. Now to do that, we're gonna need to get tricky. All right, so this is where it's gonna go down. We need a name tag. I think trap doors should be enough for this. So trap door there and there and just put them down. So theoretically, like I can jump through and then the creeper falls. Just gotta make sure I'm down with this. Oh yeah, see, if I break that. Oh, we're not gonna have to force anything to spawn. I can fall on down. Oh, we should break that. Make sure this is closed. Man, I totally forgot. I left this section like unused. And remember when we were trying to get mobs to spawn? Well, that still is a thing. We can just kill all these uh, zombies. Should make sure not to hit the creepers. No, I think if I kill it from the bottom, they, yeah, they don't explode if they can't like see the top of your head or something. And this guy can come through. Uh, rip. Let's try this again. Come with me, creeper. Be a cooperative lad for me. Your name's uh. Oh, 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 oh. What's your name? I, I forget. Yeah, just buy the villagers here. No big deal. Just come on through. It's casual. It's chill. Yep, you're doing great. Here you go. Beautiful. Lock it up. And ladies and gentlemen, Boomy, the big lad. I mean, we kind of got to fill this one now. So creeper, zombie villager, super rare mob. I mean, like what else is out there? A drowned would be kind of cool. Oh, I got a drowned in a boat. It's quite easy. I think the strategy for this one is actually going to be cart. Come on up, why don't you? There you go. No, not into the water, you idiot. Oh my God, if we could get a trident guy. All right, you kill all your buddies. Nice job. It's really satisfying actually. All right, before we could continue with this, uh, I need some mending. Because my stuff is about to break. So if I do another sail, that should, yeah, there we go. And this guy should do the same. Yeah, you can see that going up. Can even buy another mending or sell this guy books for that matter. Nice. That'll finally, finally be mending on all our armor. Hello, hello, hello. Here are my drowned crew. If you just want to come right up there, like that would be easy. You get in here and then you slab up. Oh, can they not go into carts? Cause I mean like this dude is definitely stuck. You know, this dude's not going anywhere. <gasps> yes, ha ha, just a little more. Boom, we're just pushing a hostile mob right into here. So like, I mean, come on, this is, this is easy. It's just a simple push, no big deal. But I don't know if I'm satisfied with just a regular drowned. There he is, there's the man we're looking for. The problem is this guy just wants to keep a range. So tricky, there's so many. There we go, he's gonna get forced into there. And there we go, there we go, he's in there, he's in there. Okay, okay, sick. So now, you just need to get him in the cart. Look, I know you're mad, I know you're mad. Can I call you Lenny? You're all, you're all stuck in there now. Put water on hand, not gonna burn, beautiful. There it is. Go ahead and push him on up. He stopped throwing his spear once he's in here. Yeah, you're stupid, ha! All right, 
Alright, this guy's old news. You can get out of here. Because look what we got. Being in the cart, like, the other one actually would still attack me. This one, I, I don't even need a shield. Look at that. If I drop water from there and close that. There it is. Haha, ladies and gentlemen. Not just any old drowned. We have a trident drowned trapped. And there we go. Looking better. You know what this room is going to be? I'm not sure why. But you ready? That just feels right. One step further, get some benches in here. You know, it's like a public forum type space, right? People gonna call it a church. It's, it's, it's what, I don't care. It's whatever you want it to be. I don't know. I think that looks kind of cool. And while we're making repairs to this bottom floor, I think it's time I, I finally tackle this. Are you ready? Well, there's the cobble gone. Next up, it's the walls. Oh, yeah, that feels better. Uh, I actually realized I do want this wall in here. I feel like this room just loses a lot of its ambience. Like, yeah, I think that looks okay, and we now have a lot more space. And we can also go ahead, fill this in. Uh, except I'm not going to be able to fill this in. Unless, take our poppies, turn it into red dye. Here we go. Oh, I can also just lay down a loom. Okay, it's actually very simple. Iron becomes emeralds. Uh, more emeralds. And we buy light gray wool. Bones become bone meal, which becomes white dye. No? What? Are you serious? I can't believe it. Well, stealing from this it is. There we go. Easy fixes all around. That is much better. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just buy like a ton of food. Cookies, even some cakes. Look at that. Got fully healed armor and a whole bunch of food. And I've always been very annoyed at how these chest rooms have nothing in them. So I'm just going to fill them with some food. Like, come on. This is the tasty treat room. Nothing but tasty treats good vibes only and yes apples definitely tasty treats now one other thing i've kind of been building my stores of are bricks we have almost two stacks would this be cool no no i don't like that but perhaps something like that oh you can make brick stairs whoa suddenly i am very much about the bricks okay this very much needs work. I'm hesitant, but I think I like it. We're gonna have to fix all this too. So I think we'll just raise this as well. We'll fill this part in as well. And I know it's nothing crazy, but I've literally never used brick before. I think as a whole, we have done a pretty good job with just overall design of this main section. You guys ready to finish this out? I need stone. So in total, we have... Probably not enough, but we have so much spare wood. I don't even need to go get lava. We can literally get all furnaces cooking, and four more stacks will definitely be enough. Oh, okay, never mind. We, we were probably good. I need. Oh, wow, that looks good. That looks really good. Yeah, I just want to make sure sides look good. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Huh? Okay, this is a lot. This is what? What? Oh my god. I'm literally going to die. Excuse me? Okay, what? Oh, my shield is busted. No, Bo. Whoa. No. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. No, there's another oh. <laughs> skeleton. Are you are you kidding me? Bro. Bro. Bro, I don't even have my boat. That was terrible. My question is, what can I do with the boat? Power two. Power two, sure. Oh, hey, look who it is. I did not come prepared, but now I am, and you're dead. Dude, literally, oh, here, just trying to make sure our building looks good, you know? Like, I'm the guy that comes in here and says, hey, uh, there's a little hole right here. I just came through to, like, patch little things up like that. That looks really great. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Wow, these guys are hard to fight. The knockback makes it so hard. Oh my god. I hate you. Also, still no trident. This is ridiculous. What I'm trying to say, this section obviously looks terrible. Other than that, though, I think we're good. So, first thing is we'll add our leaves in. That's gonna apply for both levels. So, there we go. Now, this section just looks bad. I think we should just continue this part along this whole section of like balcony. There we go. I think that looks very nice. Still have this section. So I've gone ahead and filled this area in with cobble. Just keep that consistent. And then as far as the log goes, I think I think we should keep it up. So very easily, this whole top layer is just bricks. And as we've done before, it looks kind of bare. 
And so this is tricky because that section is designed for like roof above it. Whereas this section, maybe we want it to resemble this instead. I feel like that looks better. Uh, this is it. And this is something we are definitely familiar with because we literally just did it down there. So brick on top. And I mean, it, it, it's literally what we just did. So three in the middle. Is that it? I actually think... We have done it. I almost forgot a critical element. Never forget the bushes. And of course, it's going to be a thunderstorm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a very long journey. There you have it. Our completed woodland mansion. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget the giveaway.